Welcome back to the closing bell. And we are just a few minutes away from the official ringing of the closing bell. I'm actually standing up here at the New York Exchange podium with today's bell ringer. Welcome to Stu Shepard. He is the regional sales director for Universal Robots America's division. And with us is the UR5E. This is the first ever collaborative robot to be ringing the closing bell that's in the correct. New York Stock Exchange. What's a collaborative yeah. robot? A collaborative robot is a robot that's force and speed limited, so it can literally work right next to people without any additional safety guarding. And if it does come in contact, it stops automatically. You just restart it with a simple push. So industrial use, is that? Industrial use and a wide variety of other applications. The more we learn, the more we find new places to put it. And this will actually be ringing yes. the bell, not you? Not me. So, so what are some of the latest, latest use cases where we see these, these robots? Well, the biggest thing is, is these robots are used in much the same way as other robots have been used in the past. But what's different is they're more affordable and easier to use so that all types of industries and all economies can use it. In the past, most people thought that robots and automation were too expensive to be used even in small to mid-sized uh, entrepreneurial companies and, and private owner companies. Now, literally anybody can afford to use it, and it's safe. You don't have to worry about it. Who's controlling <laughs> this right now? It's running by itself, and even if you were to touch it, it would stop and it would have no impact on you whatsoever. How's it going to know? Do, do you program it? It's actually it sensing. It has sensors in each joint that allows it to feel what it's running into, and it's all limited in such a way that it's controlled by industry accepted standard for how it can work next to people. All right. So. Well, we will be watching come 4 p.m. Eastern. Absolutely. Stu, thank you very much.